cooking Thanksgiving dinner in the new air. You might think I'm crazy for cooking as much as I'm about to tell you. Just for myself, plus I have a limited amount of space in here, but I wanted to show you what I did and how I managed to get through it. Uh, remember that I am flying solo here in the RV, so, uh, which is probably not the case for most of you, which will change things a little bit. But what I have set up now is I've been falling in love with it every single day. I'm so glad I did this. The convection microwave uh, oven combination here just doesn't cook very well, especially anything that requires temperatures over 350 degrees. So I've stopped using it as an oven altogether. It's quite possible that if you swapped it out with a GE Advanium, that would work better. I used to have one a long time ago in my uh, sticks and bricks home, and I didn't use it that much uh, to cook, but I did often use speed cooking for chicken and things like that, and it came out really well, but I never really used it as a straight up oven, so I, I, and I, I can't really comment how much better it is than this, uh, or if it's better than this setup. So that this toaster oven goes to uh, 450, I think. Never had a reason to go higher than that. And I uh, cooked in here. Let's take a look at this. So cranberry nut bread in here, it collapsed a little bit, but cranberry nut bread for an hour in there at 350 came out absolutely perfect. What I have in there now is uh, five pounds of turkey breast. I just stuck that in there. It's going to be there for about an hour before I baste it again and, and uh, cook it for at least another half hour or so until it's to temperature. So I don't know if you can tell, this takes up quite a bit of counter space. Absolutely worth it in my opinion. And so I make up for counter space in other ways when I need to. It's relatively rare. There's a combination of techniques and, and other things that I do that, that really help. So one technique is I try to prep one thing, one thing at a time other than maybe like spices and things like that. So this, this, this is for the turkey. This is for the sweet potato casserole. I've got butter sitting out here to getting to room temperature, you know, etc. And so I prep the turkey and that put that, get that in the oven. And so that clears up space and I'm done. I'll move on to the next item. The other thing I make sure I do is I keep up with the dishes. As soon as I'm done preparing what I'm, what I'm doing, wash the dishes and get them out of the sink, out of the way, uh, or into the dishwasher if you're not gonna use them again for the rest of the stuff you're cooking. So my other technique is sometimes I'll, I'll use this space for counter space or just to put things on uh, during preparation. Like I had the turkey out for a little bit, so I actually had that on the tray table. So I make use of space like that. So I have two tray tables. <laughs> you can see this one's pretty well in use. I put all the ingredients I'm about to use out here. I'm even making use of the couch. That's just stuff I'm gonna use. The thing that I, that I decided to do here is really important to understand for two two reasons. So I've got the Instant Pot here and I've, I've chosen to uh, do Instant Pot recipes in a couple of cases because that allows me to do what I'm about to talk about. The Instant Pot is plugged in over here. Yesterday I made uh, uh, mashed butternut squash in the Instant Pot. And I, since I did that yesterday, I, I just plugged it in over here and that was fine. So one of the things I recommend doing is making things ahead of time if you can. So I've got the, the butternut squash in there and yes, I'm on Diet Coke feed. Um, and I made the bread yesterday, so that helps my schedule for today. But the reason I have this over here, not only to save the counter space over here, if I had it over here, I'd, I'd be really low on counter space and I wouldn't have access to the cooktop here, but it's over there because it's on its own circuit breaker. There's a circuit breaker for the driver's side slide out. There's a circuit breaker for the passenger slide slide out, except the microwave has its own, the fridge has its own. So if I was running the oven and the Instant Pot at the same time on on this set of plugs that are up here, I'd pop a breaker. <clears throat> so especially because I occasionally am making myself coffee. So that'd be way too much for the, I think it's, I think this is fed by a 20 amp breaker. That'd be way too much for that. So I'll be able to do both things at the same time. The Instant Pot, generally recipes are pretty quick too. So I'm about, what I'm about to do is mashed potatoes in there 
uh, cooking time is 10 minutes plus coming to pressure, which will probably be five minutes or so. That depends on your altitude. I'm actually at like 4,500 feet right now, so uh, that'll probably change things. But anyway, that's my technique for things. You know, I try to get everything out and organized and, and uh, plan the order in which I'm going to do things, which you kind of have to do for Thanksgiving Day anyway, but um, there you have it. So if you have any questions on how I managed or, or uh, recommendations or suggestions um, on how to do things, um, the amount of space required, uh, this isn't going to be a great demonstration because it's in disarray because I'm in the middle of cooking, but I've got a medium pot there. I have a small pot and a large pot in there all three with covers. I'm not using like collapsible cookware or anything like that. I could, I would save space, but I don't presently need to. And in a nice mixing bowl, I have several of these that stack. Uh, and like I mentioned in the previous video, I keep these over here so that I can use them if the passenger, or if the driver's side slide out is in, because I otherwise can't reach them. Uh, steamer slash something to easily boil water in. I do have other collapsible um, storage bins in here and cooking trays and things of that nature all, all fit in there. And then I, I have two skillets in here. I love, I love these things. These are, um, <laughs> I can't even remember, scan pans. I've, I've found the scan pan uh, to be fantastic cookware. And then, you know, my plates, bowls and uh, soup bowls and some other Tupperware storage container type stuff. That's the bulk of the large cookware types of things. You may have noticed my Ninja here. This is this is great, not only because I, I get to have a blender. I'll make myself smoothies sometimes with that. Or I have a full-size blender. And it's a food processor, so that helps save some space. These, these two things take up a fair amount of room. And I don't use them all that often. I did yesterday when I chopped the cranberries. Uh, but so they stay back there and the Instant Pot goes goes right here. And that, and I never cover the kitchen sink. It's, I, I find it pointless to, to, to do that and annoying in order to give myself extra counter space. So all my, <laughs> this is definitely a mess. I, I would like this to be better, but it's not been important enough for me to solve. So basically all the utensils uh, go in here. So where of course is in here. And I keep a couple of things handy, like my temperature probe and scissors and things of that nature. And then, you know, foil wrap and all that sort of stuff in here and a little scale. And I like what I did here. Might not be the best use of space, but it works pretty well. It keeps things accessible. So my spice rack here, all my knives in here, both you know, big chopping knives and things like that, as well as dinner knives, steak knives, and uh, and then some other stuff like tea. And I just kind of find spots to fit things. You'll notice I can't fit all my spices on the rack. I mean, it would be nice for me to solve that, but that hasn't been an issue. And in the new era, the pantry is great. Um, I also love these OXO containers. So I have basically all the stuff that I need. Uh, baking soda, baking powder, salt, sugar, flour. Um, something's missing here. I forget, I forget what goes here. Uh, I also use them to hold coffee. Um, you know, and I put I put some of the heavier things down at the at the bottom, so it, it it travels better. And if it were to fall over, and if I had a leak, it would be contained down here instead of cascading all the way down. So that's that's my kitchen setup. Um, and the other thing, completely random note, I just thought about the fridge here. I've always in my sticks and bricks homes, I always went for the fridges that had the water dispenser and ice dispenser here. And I'm glad I was forced to do it this way with the Samsung fridge where the where the, the top is fridge only, no dispenser. And the ice maker is just this, is a tray that I have to scoop out of. And 
it almost felt like a downgrade, but I am really happy with that setup because it gives me way more space in the fridge, a lot of space in the freezer because I'm not wasting space on the mechanisms and whatnot. And getting the ice out is super simple and I don't have to, you know, worry about mechanisms failing and waiting for the ice to spit out. It sounds stupid, but I really prefer this style now. So that's, you know, if and when I buy a home uh, and get a fridge or something like that, I'll be going for that style of fridge. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions about how I did things or, or if you think you'd be able to pull something off, if you're worried about space in the kitchen, you're thinking about getting into an RV and that sort of stuff, certainly feel, feel free to reach out. I also encourage you to do something like rent a, an RV and take it out and do some cooking in it and get a sense for what that what that's like. I think you'll find you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's just different. You get used to these big kitchens and everybody wants a big grandiose kitchen. Um, and it's sure it's nice, but it's certainly not necessary. So thank you for watching. Happy Thanksgiving for those of you in the US. We'll see you soon. I got a lot of video content I need to put together. Sorry, I've been really busy with stuff and it takes a long time to put this stuff together. I have so much stuff to show you. Coming soon. Stay tuned. Thanks much.